Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and I'm on a road trip today. This is Hope Valley, California. If you go just south of Lake Tahoe on Highway 89, if you take 89 through Myers down to the junction with 88, you will find an entire region of spectacular fall colors known as Hope Valley, California. Um, it's a beautiful area. We used to go out every year into Hope Valley to do fall color pictures, me and my grandparents. I remember going down to Hope Valley a lot with my grandparents. Every year we would go down to Hope Valley and we would take pictures. And it was the first time I can really remember going out into the world to do photography. And it made a big impression on me. I don't think I would be doing the job I'm doing today if, I, if my grandpa hadn't taken me out to take pictures of the same trees changing color every year, roughly the same time of year. Not only was it a cool, memorable experience for the whole family, but it helped me find my direction in life. So I have some really good memories of getting pictures of the fall colors out in Hope Valley, and I'm gonna share some of my fall color pictures from this year with you guys. Um, things to do in Hope Valley. Hope Valley is a popular place for painting because of its beautiful location and many different paintings that you can make of the fall colors from one easy place. Painters come out all the time you can find them in the galleries in Tahoe. Untamed Art has a good collection of Hope Valley paintings. It's a pristine area. There's a lot of history in Hope Valley. Genoa, when it was first established, this was actually part of Nevada. Yep. And the Trimmer Ranch up there, the High Meadows, was the first title deeded ranch in the whole state of Nevada. Cool. And even though most of it ended up in California. But yep. That's one little piece of trivia there. Hope Valley was originally settled by ranchers. Well, ever since the 1850s, Hope Valley's always been used for grazing, for cattle yeah. grazing, for horse grazing, for some of the first established ranches grazed their horses in the lush green meadows of Hope Valley. Of course, one of the major reasons to go this time of year to do the fall colors is photography. I want to give you a few really good hints for how to photograph in fall colors as soon as this car goes by. Okay, so the trick to getting good photography when you're out in the fall colors is to pick a good time of day. You want to pick a time of day when there's good oblique sunlight either early in the morning or late in the afternoon. You don't want to start any earlier than about 2 p.m. but you do want to have enough time to be able to do it all before sunset hits. Um, you have to be prepared to make a lot of stops because there are many beautiful places you can go and there's as many photographs as you care to take out in the region right now. Would you let me out please? He has child lock on his back seat. <laughs> what you do is you find yourself a spot that has good natural light and you want it to be so that you are standing in the shade while you're photographing the light. Okay, you see that meadow? The trick for getting good photography of the autumn leaves is contrast. You want a time of day when the shadows are fairly long so that there's a large contrast between light and dark. You want the bright golden leaves to be lit up either because the sun is behind them or because the sun is shining off them and it's not shining off what they're next to. What looks really good is red or gold leaves up against green trees or blue sky. Um, not as good looking as if you have just a mass of blurry leaves. You want to pay careful attention to the technicals of your photography. You can get the best photographs by shooting in manual mode, set the aperture get a feel for the aperture and the timing on your camera and learn how to set them both at once. You'll get much, much better pictures in challenging situations like shooting fall leaves at sunset. Um, for your information, a single aspen grove like this can be a single organism that can run for as far as a thousand miles. Our, the, all the root systems for all the aspen trees interact. So really, an aspen forest is one huge genetically identical individual that can go for miles and miles and miles. They're some of the largest organisms on Earth. Autumn leaves change color because of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis relies on a chemical that is rich in mang manganese to make sugar out of carbon dioxide in the sunlight. As there's less sunlight and less heat, the efficiency of the process goes down, 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 and eventually it no longer makes sense for the tree to have leaves of its own. 
So the tree stops investing in the leaves and photosynthesis declines. This leaves behind byproducts called carotenoids, which are orange and red in color, instead of the green of photosynthetic leaves of summer. The, the orange and yellow color are always present in the leaves, but it's only when the green fades that you can actually see that the leaf was red underneath all along. It was the southern route across the Sierra for when Donner Pass was closed in the wintertime. After the Donner Party disaster, they decided that it would be a good, really good idea to have a southerly route through the Sierra to get from Nevada to California. So people started coming from Markleyville across Hope Valley, right here, to get to Sacramento in the wintertime when Donner Pass was closed. Just south of where 89 and 88 join, on the way to Markleyville, is Sorensen's Mountain Resort. Sorensen's is really not to be missed. It's the only real mountain resort in Hope Valley. They have a dance hall where there's music on Friday and Saturday nights and people dance. They have the only cafe in the area. They have cabins for rent. It's a beautiful setting. The prices are quite reasonable. Definitely try Sorensen's while you're in Hope Valley if you want to stop there. So I hope you guys come and visit Hope Valley. It's beautiful. The peak fall leaves go for another oh, month or so, but this is the very beginning of it. Um, realize that as soon as the snow and the wind come, the leaves are gone. Nature waits for no man. So come out and see the autumn glory while it lasts. Thank you. Keep Tahoe blue and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.